Well, I started role playing when I was about eight years old. I'm in my early 40s now. When I encountered it, it seemed like people were telling stories, rolling dice, but over a period of time, I found that role playing is really about a human story and about exploring imagination and kind of exploring how the human condition interacts with pop culture and legend lore. It's been distilled in the world into video games and so many things, but for me, it's just telling stories. I'm Eric DePaul, and I am a role player. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to do that. I always loved, you know, knights and wizards and dragons. I was always a person who just thought those things were really cool and interesting. The, when I was a kid, all the games centered around that kind of thing, so it was like uh, candy to a baby. It, there's nothing quite like being a player character in one of my dad's games. It's it's a completely different experience. It's it's enriching and enthralling and there's there's always something to pick up, there's always something to learn, there's always something to do. There's never a dull moment. For me, I tend to see the greatest level of joy from my players and want to foster that. It by having them have an emotional experience to be involved with an interesting story. And the more uh, you get to interact with the story and create one, that's gonna teach you even more about yourself than it would the human condition. He's taken different storylines and fused them in together, has created a world um, that's very complex. I mean, that's why people like uh, Lord of the Rings. That's why they like Game of Thrones, because it's a very complex world with lots of details into it. And all of which have been made really by like one central person. I haven't had a night where it wasn't fun. He does a really good job of making it fun. Telling stories in this way gives people a chance to not be on the other side of the fourth wall, but to be co-creative, to be involved. And even in a role-playing game that's, say, online, everything's fairly scripted. But at the table, with dice and humans, you get that maverick, unpredictable thing where Nothing's necessarily planned. Things can always go a different way, and it's organic. And that's the best way to go through stories. I don't know what's going to happen next, and no player knows the future. I don't even think the GM knows the grand scheme of the whole thing, so it's cool to see it change organically and have another player react to something differently than you thought it might, they might have done. He's kept a history of all of this. He remembers it. He remembers characters' names. He remembers their abilities, their quirks. It just... It speaks to the imagination and the world building that's going on. It really builds a lot of camaraderie um, and companionship between people. I mean, because we're not like I always thought it was like people that sit in a very dark basement with uh, robes and staffs. I didn't think it was just like regular people, which is pretty cool. I would love to evangelize role playing in some way because I think there's something in it for everyone. He takes individuals or pairs or groups and puts the focus on them, the momentum on them so that everybody feels like they're a cog in this machine. Nobody feels left out, everybody feels important. When the new superhero movie comes out, or the new uh, space saga uh, movie comes out, or video game comes out, if you're a person who likes that, then you will like this even more. Because it has all of those elements, but um, you can't complain about the producers and the writers. You are the producer, you are the actor, you are the writer, and you get to do whatever you want. And you don't really, in the entertainment media, or even in our own lives, we don't really have that capability. And if you want it, role playing is the thing that we'll give it to you. Grab some paper and some dice and make the story that you want. Take control. And in this world that we live in, where media and entertainment and pop culture and fantasy and science fiction are such a, an important part of who we are as a creative species, who do you want? You want to be the person who's consuming it or producing it?